Hello everyone and welcome back to our series on basics about Vue.js. In this video, we'll be learning about the if, else and show directives in Vue.js. Before we move forward and understand how we can use these directives, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also press the bell icon so that you don't miss on any new notifications of any new videos or series that we put forward. So to start writing if else condition or uh, else if block in, in Vue.js, you need to follow the syntax that is listed in the screen. So you need to have the directive as v hyphen if or v hyphen else if and then the else block is like only v hyphen else now let's see this with an example in the code running so over here i have just created a login form where i have applied a simple condition on the username field where i say that if the value is having less than two characters then sh then share uh, or then show an error that username is required and if the value have a length of two or more than two up to four characters then it is username is incorrect and else uh, it is correct so that's a condition that i am working on and we will be writing over here over here in the code, we should uh, here I have written few more uh, directives which we have not discussed yet. But uh, don't worry, we'll be discussing those uh, in coming part of our tutorial, and you'll get to know all those directives. So over here, this is a form that I have created. So I've used Bootstrap uh, version for view, uh, Bootstrap's view version, uh, to create this simple uh, form and over here i have created this username field this is the text box that we have for the username and i have binded it with a variable or a model variable that i have created so this part is something that we'll be discussing in uh, later videos so we can totally skip this but yeah that's a part that you you would be working on so what i have done is this this simple syntax is just used for two-way binding that means uh this is a variable that i have created in the data part uh if you see so in data model is there and then uh, inside model we have email so i binded it uh using that variable and now i say in if condition that if model dot email has a length of less than two then show this message username is required if else model dot email length is equal to two or greater than two and less than four then show username is not correct so this is a simple condition that we are working with right now and you have the result for this so if the length is less than two that means only one character or zero characters it is giving me an error which is saying that username is required then we when we write more than two or equal to two characters it says username is not correct then when we go to four characters the error messages are totally gone but yes if if you want an else condition as well where everything is and uh, everything apart from the condition that we have mentioned above lie there so we'll be writing as else and over here user name is correct so let's save this page so i've written this and username is correct so this is how you can you can use the if else condition now with if else there is one more thing that you need to note is the element that are having the condition and the condition is false those element itself do not get into the dom so they so if you see we have three spans over here and the condition as such that either of these span would be visible on the screen so if you see after the input we have only one span which contains the current correct uh, thing that is currently visible so once you remove few characters you can see that the span with username is correct has uh, is not there in the dom itself so this is how you can use uh, if else block and the, how you can lighten up your dom structure but there is another another uh, part to it so 
that is uh, show directive and that show directive is helpful when you want the HTML element to remain in the block but just it should have a property or style say display none so let's do one thing and apply the same condition over here uh, on the password field okay and I will say password and I'll save we show so this is a directive which says that show this pan only if this condition is true so if you see this condition is true and if we go ahead and check the span span is there in the html now when i write something uh, which uh, which creates that the condition becomes false the element is not there displayed on the screen but it's still there in your dom so it has got a style which says display none so these are the two different ways you can hide or show elements or uh, HTML elements into your DOM structure, but you need to decide uh, if you need to really use show uh, directive or not. So in the description box below, I'll be providing a GitHub URL where you can find all the resources that I use during my videos. So there we will be creating different folders by the name of the video so that it's very helpful for you if in case you want the reference of this code uh, for your for your reference purposes. So I'll be sharing that GitHub account link in the description of this video as well. Thank you for watching the video. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also press the bell icon so that you don't miss on any notifications of any new videos or series that we put forward. We would love to hear from you of any feedbacks or any any uh, tutorial that you want us to do of any specific features of the language which we have put across or any new language that you want us to uh, make videos on. So we would appreciate if you can uh, comment on the videos and uh, we would definitely reach out and look forward to uh, answer your queries.